do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright, y'all, we back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, today we have another Reddit video. Today is a little different. It's like this this dude is a 45-year-old man who has never done the dude. He's 40, he's lived on this earth 45 years, and he has never done the clappers. And he basically went on Reddit and told people to ask him any question. Because me personally, I have a bunch of questions for you. What the heck is wrong with you? What the heck is wrong with your body parts? What the heck is wrong with your eyes? What the heck is wrong with your body parts again? And what the heck is wrong with your mind? What? what, what? Anyways, this I'm curious to see what questions they have and what answers he gives. Because he's a 45-year-old dude that has never done the do. Like, what do you live for? What what makes you happy? What excites you? Do you get you know? Do you get extra you know happy? You know what I'm saying? You know, happy? You know what I'm saying? These are questions I have. Is it broken? Have you never seen an attractive person? Like like there's so many questions. So I'm I'm curious to see what the heck going on here. You know what I'm saying? So if you sign for the video, smash the like button before we hop into it. If you want to be super sexy like me. I can't give you the muscles, I can't give you all these little sexy faces and all that, you know what I'm saying? But I can't give you this jewel rack. Jewel.com, you can buy two minute third free, bundle up, say sub fifty dollars. You got the best jewel racks in the game. But you already knew that. Let's hop into this video though. Let's see what the heck this man talking about. I am a 45 year old man who hasn't ever done anything sexual with anyone and always had terrible luck with women. Ask me anything. Not sure why you're getting downvoted for answering. Lol. Anyway, what is the furthest you've ever gotten with someone? Dating a girl in high school for a few weeks. School trip at some dance I met this cute girl and I danced with her and we exchanged numbers and we would call daily for 3 weeks. Days before I wanted to visit her she got asked out her best friend again and she ended things with me. They brought many girls home from clubs and bars but none wanted to duck. Just to clarify, since you- Wait a minute. Brought many girls home from clubs and bars but none wanted to- That's the only reason girls go back home with you if you're leaving- the club or the bar they don't go home to check out your spot they go home to clap it's it, I don't, it it's either you lying or they stealing it from you it's either you bringing them back home and you missing a watch and some and some cash or I don't, I don't, it, it, maybe you were easy lick i don't know but girls if a girl goes this dude listen if a girl goes home with you after the bar or the club she wants to clap. There's no if ands. She wants to. She no girl is going. There's no reason for a girl to go to your house after the club or a bar. Not none at all, except for that. Now I'm not. I'm not saying. For, listen, this is not. Don't go and say Juvier said. If you come to the club with me, we gotta do it. Don't. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying. Ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time, girls go back home with you, from the club or the bar. They 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 want to. Do the smacking. Booty balls naked. You've brought girls home from clubs. What do you say to get them to go home with you? I'm trying to figure this part out since they go home with you, but it doesn't That's result in saying. anything. IDK usually just say like want to see my guinea pigs or something. So yeah, he a weirdo. I'm already know he a weirdo. That's why he don't get no play. He a weirdo. Sounds cheesy, but it's works somewhat. So how many guinea pigs are we talking here? Are they well kept and the cages clean? Or is there an overpowering smell of 100 plus guinea pigs when this woman walks on the door? I ask because this could totally be the turn off point. Maybe stop going to clubs and bars to meet women. If I was you, I would be going to pet stores instead. <laughs> I'm just saying, know your demographic. Two guinea pigs no smell I am aware of, it'll try a pet store haha. Dog if you're getting to the bringing people home step and they don't want to have sex you might want to re-examine your living environment. That gotta be it. Is that that might be it too. Maybe maybe his 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 house is disgusting. You know what I'm saying? A decent living environment that's mostly clean with some animals. I gotta agree with the other people here. If girls are coming home with you from the club, there were probably at least a few that were ready to do the deed. Can you tell us what a typical evening was like once they got to your place? Maybe we can help you spot something in your approach. IDK I would say a mostly clean apartment with one other roommate that I sent usually though when I brought some with me. I would bring them through the door and ask if they wanted a drink of water or juice. I don't drink really. They usually say yeah and I guide them throughout my entire apartment. Show them my guinea pigs and dogs and sit on the couch watching something together. After 10 minutes I try to escalate but they decline. You ugly. And your house disgusting. And your house smells like animals. And you probably got pages of weird ugly dudes on your wall for no reason. It's, it has, to, but they stay in there to watch the movie. 
How are you coming on to them? This is my question. How are, like, how are you trying to escalate it? You know what I'm saying? Because you said after 10 minutes, I try to escalate, but they decline. What, what are you doing to escalate it? Is it a soft little arm around the shoulder, little caress, they, they, they kneecap or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Lean in, whisper something in their ear. Or you going full balls deep, taking your, your shirt off and your pants on, slapping your thing in their face, talk about let's go. Like, what, 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 what are you doing here? After 10 minutes I try to escalate but they decline. What do you mean by this specifically? Like, you show them your guinea pigs and then, hold her hand. Copperfield. What? Trying to figure out where the sticking point is for a woman. Here. I guess I try to slowly make out or cuddle or even sometimes feel them up. But that's when we are on the couch together. HM. What do you think the sticking point is? There has to be one. If you are bringing women home and then they nope out very quickly. Sorry. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just really curious. Usually once they've gone home with you you've done a lot of the work already. Do you have a good female friend you can ask? That would be my biggest advice. Honestly. Or if there's a woman you went on a date with that you're still in touch with. They usually just say they are and interested in me. So why the heck they go back to your house? What the heck wrong with you when you get home? You change or something? You turn to a werewolf when you go home or something like that? I've asked a GF of mine but she has no clue. What do you mean anything sexual? Do you mean you've never poached the egg? Spanked the monkey? Marched the penguin? Pet the cat? Polished the banister? Shucked the corn? Softened the peach? Haha. <laughs> Let's just say the most I've done is hugged. Ha you've never kissed so- Hey, <laughs> wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. You- The most you've done is hug a girl. I'm baffled. What life do you live? It's not a happy one, my guy. It's not at all. I can tell you, it's not. Have you ever been on a date before? Do you have friends? Do you go out and socialize? What do you do for a living? Yes, men and they go out well in my opinion. But the girl never wants to duck or get into a relationship. I have quite a good social life with my co-workers especially. I am a barber. I used to go out clubbing and to bars during my 20s and 30s but now sometimes I go out to the bar. I also have been lifting for most of my life so I go out and do that. So, you... You a barber, you ain't like balling or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? You don't got like a whole bunch of money, but you still, you're not, you're not homeless, you know what I'm saying? And you say you've been working out for most of your life, so you, you're not fat and out of shape and looking nasty and sloppy and all that, you know what I'm saying? So what the, what the mother effort is wrong with you? And you a barber, so you always got a fresh cut. Girl, all ca girls care about is a fresh cut and a little good of body and not being broke and be able to talk and not... I don't know what's wrong with- I don't know. I, I got nothing for him. But yeah, 12-7 I work and I work out before and then just chill at my apartment saving more and more money because I don't need to spend it on a GF lol. Why do you say you have terrible luck with women then if dates have gone well? How do you know they aren't trying to duck? Ever made the first move? Get rejected? Seems like you have a somewhat normal life. Hard to believe you've never gotten any action. IDK they usually just decline a second date. I've asked friends if I did anything wrong but they say not really lol. Your friends only have your perspective to look for what might have gone wrong. Seems like a probable blind spot. I guess. But hey I am sure I am doing most things right. This will probably be weird. But maybe you should ask the girl if you did anything wrong. They will give you the most honest and accurate answer. Literally. I am just not interested in you slash a relationship right now. Do you mean bad luck or do you mean you have fundamental personality flaws you're unwilling to fix? It'd say bad luck and maybe some more minor personality flaws. It's not like I'm obnoxious but I am just not smooth with women. What do the women you bring home look like? What do you look like? What does your place look like? <laughs> yeah, let me see what he look like. Let me see what his place look like. And let me see what type of jaws he bringing home. If he bringing back ones and twos and he can't clap, there's no there's no space for you on this earth. I'm telling you, there's nothing here. If you bring it back ones and twos to your cribbo, they already don't got nothing, nothing going for themselves. And they ain't clap you? What's wrong? What? If, and if you bring it back tens, how are you bringing back tens back to your crib? You know what I'm saying? Like, how? What does happen when you bring them home? Women tend to be white and sometimes really attractive. But it's say a 7 usually. I am 5 feet 10 with, now light brown. But used to be like dirty blonde most of my life. And straight hair. Hair is slightly receded but I still got a full head of hair. I have green eyes and I have some acne scarring from my teen years I never fixed. Place is just a mostly clean apartment with a roommate. I usually show them around. Offer a drink of water or juice since I don't drink. Sit on the couch with them and watch TV and try to escalate later. They move away and say no. <laughs> You're bringing these girls home from a bar or club? From my perspective. 27F. If I'm going to a club it's to get absolutely trashed and have a good time with my friends. If I went home with a guy and realized he doesn't drink I wouldn't stay for sex. I'm absolutely not having drunk sex with a sober guy unless we are already in a committee. That is true. If they drunk and he don't drink. That is, that, that's true too. 
But I don't know if that would be a hundred percent like miss rate. Like maybe fifty of the girls wouldn't want to clap you because you sober and they not sober. But there's no way a hundred percent. That's the reason for a hundred. That's that's a valid point though. That is a valid point. I ain't think about that. Did relationship? It's awkward and uncomfortable. We either both need to be sober or both drunk. Especially since I don't know you. A guy being sober while I'm not is a red flag. And if I'm going home with a guy from a club, I am guaranteed drunk. This is just my experience. And I am just one person. I don't know what other girls would do. Okay, it's just I am not really that much of a drinker. I am sorry. It'll start stocking up on some beverages. <laughs> Some good advice up there, though. Sick up with some vodka or rum or even beer for the ladies. You can always just pop open a beer for yourself and drink it slowly. Yeah, I am usually that guy who drinks a mix of juice and Shirley Temples and some fruity flavored beer like that beer lemonade. But yeah, not a fan of ultra -hull lol. If these girls are a set. Did the, bo did the robot just say ultra -hull? What the f- Did the baby did Some did fruity the flavored beer say... like that beer lemonade. But yeah, not a fan of ultra -hull lol. ultra -hull. The robot is stupid, it can't read. Robots are stupid. If these girls are a 7, what are you on 1-10 scale? This is very important. Maybe you are just shooting too high. Maybe about a 7. IDK. If you are a solid 7 then something isn't adding up. It's I not. feel like it has to be your personality or making them feel awkward or something IDK. Probably this vibe I give off. Or that for some reason women just don't find me decent looking. Where do you live and who do you live with? Do you have regular social interactions with friends and or family? Why haven't you been able to approach any woman? Are you extremely shy or have social anxiety? Have you tried to get any therapy for this? Have you considered hiring a sex worker to jumpstart? Maybe that's what he should do. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying anybody should hire a prostitute or hooker. But he's not anybody. He is, the, 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 he is not the norm. All he's ever done is hug a girl. He needs to take... Maybe he needs to hire a little, a little Tatiana. A little prostitute or whatever. Maybe he needs to. Uh, that might help. That might help him get a little, give him a little taste of it until he can't stop. Well, that's bad. No, not. I'm, I don't mean until he can't stop. He start. No, I don't mean like that. And be quiet. You know what I mean. What you getting intimate with someone? I live in Long Island, New York, born and raised. Yes, I do. As a barber, I talk with lots of people. Family I am not too close with besides my mom and brother, and some family gatherings. I have approached hundreds of women in my life with zero luck. No way you approach hundreds. You you. You owing 9,000? You owing 900? Like, come on, bro. No way. I would say I am very confident with women, but not the smoothest guy. But I am also not rude or obnoxious. I guess I am unlucky, lol. Not really into hiring a escort because of morals. You have no morals. Because you have no, no... You've never got anything except for a hug. You have nothing. You don't have morals. You don't have dignity. You need... you d d Clapping a prostitute would bring your dignity up, actually. But maybe in the next few years, if I do it will probably be with the same women three times or so and the first one is learning how to please women and other two times just to get the feel of what it like. But it's not on my MJNDATM. How do you feel about it? I hate it and still desperately looking. As a in year and a barber I'm sure you have to have friends. Can anyone win them for you? Or do your friends know can they set you up on a blind date? I'm from NY and I know sometimes women come off as uninterested or play hard to get here. Is it possible that the social cues got read wrong? Friends have set me on a few but not many. Didn't really work out. Download a cupid and make a detailed profile that's honest then lower your standards and try your luck on there. Not a fan but I'll try. Do you- He- He needs- He needs to pray. That's what he needs. He needs- Cause there's only so much you can do. You need to when it's above you, you gotta give it to God. At that point, it's been above him. Hundreds of girls rejecting him. God is trying to tell you something, and you ain't listening, my guy. You is not listening. Do you have any female friends or family members you are close with? Do you feel like women are overly complicated and a mystery to you? What are your thoughts on feminism and the big focus on gender in media? Yes, I do. MM, I guess sexually, yes, but they are just normal people. I think women are too overly praised on the media with guys praising the duck out of them on sites like Instagram. But not really sure what feminism is or the big deal about it. This is the only red flag I've seen here. No one should date women if they don't know what feminism is or the big deal. Everything else seems normal. OP, you mentioned that all you've done was hugged. Do you not just lean in and go for it? <laughs> the hugging part still got me, bro. The hugging part got me. A kiss? Worst case, you wait for the awkward pause like Seinfeld? Have many times. The head moves back. Okay, we're building up the details here. Do you move in for a kiss straight up while you're both sitting on the couch? Read your other responses on your home setup? Or is there any other build up? Like your arm is already around her or similar? I have no clue why I think know this. 
But if one, she's comfortable talking with you within feel your breath distance and or two you're able to converse by whispering into each other's ears, usually at a club or noisy bar, for some time and or three, you're able to put your hand on her though just right above the knee, she won't move back when you try to kiss her, rooting for you here, buddy, so the more details, the better. It'd say I sit close to them but the second I try to escalate like touch then more lean and they reject my advances. Okay, I'm trying to get a better understanding of what they're seeing. These are women you did not know until that night. You got their attention and they agreed to go home with you. Are you the kind of guy who connects by being funny? Or are you the artist type? You've mentioned your barber so I imagine you're conversational. Yeah just conversation. I am not really funny but I do drop jokes when I can. Do these women compliment you? Like what do they say? Cause asking them to your place. You must have gotten some form of verbal affirmation or confirmation. Do they drive? Have you ever gone to their place? I have gone to some people's places but it's rare. They usually drive me to my place since I don't drive. Some do but rarely. Oh wow. I'm stumped. Plenty of things to try out. Hope one of them works for you. Please get back to us with progress. Or lack thereof. There's nothing y'all could do to help this man. Y'all ask some good questions, but there's nothing you could do to help this man. This man is a lost cause. Did you ever consider prostitution? Not really. I want a girl who wants my dong, not my cash. I guess my idea of human nature is needing that human companionship. Is that something that doesn't interest you or are you against online dating? Secondly, how were your parents growing up? Sorry if I'm digging deep here but this is pretty interesting to me. I want human companionship. Parents were great but they didn't really love each other. They just used each other for the K1 visa and business. Bro, you made it to the end? Man, that's the end of the video bro. I, I have nothing for this man. I have, there's no helping him. There's no one can help this man. Literally. Like, leave in the comments down below what you would suggest for this man or what you what you think is wrong with him. He he said he's a 7, so he's not, like, stupidly ugly. He's 5'10", so he's not a freaking midget. You know what I'm saying? He says he goes to the gym consistently, so he's not an obese, ugly, little whatever the heck. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I have nothing for him. And y'all know I'm the, I'm, listen, I speak fluent female and I, 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 I would know, but I don't know what's wrong with him. It's, I'm telling you, it's a sign from God. God doesn't want him to do something. And he's not listening to God. God is being really loud by making you get rejected by hundreds of girls and never going further than hugging them. He's never kissed a female in his life. He lives a depressing life. That was in the chat for him. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Is this y'all? If this is you, I'm sorry. If this is, you live this type of life, I'm sorry. Go hug your mama. Go hug your sister. Walk up to a random girl. On, no, don't do that. I was about to say walk up to a random girl on the street and hug her. That, that, that would get you probably put in jail or something like that. But uh, go, go. I don't know. Ask, some, ask a random girl on the street for a hug. That's better. Don't just go up and hug them. Ask a random girl on the street for a hug. Most of them, like at least 50% of them is going to say yes. They're going to let you hug them. If you explain your story and say you ain't never had no coochie and none of that, maybe 7% of them will let you hit just to say you did it. And if that 7% is probably all prostitutes. They probably go to extra money after that. But I don't, I, this is my advice. Take it or leave it. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. L's in the chat for this, man. Big L's in the chat for this, man. But that's for about it. I'm going to see y'all. Ouch. Ayo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.